Walk to Thursday, I've been thinking, whoa, whoa. I Peter OG Murdoch, I'm thinking, whoa, whoa. Yo, 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 let's get it. Not, you know, my service be in and out, but when I get good service, I try to go in. My shit full of bars right now, so let's talk about it. <laughs> All right. What's good, King? Um, so I wasn't really going to talk about this R. Kelly shit because I think it's like cliche to talk about trendy topics. But since I was already the first nigga talking about it before all of this shit popped up, it's only right that I give my full insight on what's really happening. So, um, the craziest part about this whole R. Kelly shit is that I don't know why everybody is upset or shocked. See, I came to the final conclusion that y'all pick and choose when shit is okay. So now all of a sudden it's a problem with him and Aaliyah. But y'all didn't give a fuck about him pissing. How old was the girl he pissed on, P? So y'all didn't care about the nigga pissing. Like, not, he didn't even, yo, wait, wait. He didn't just sleep with the girl. He pissed on her. Like, pee-pee, like, you know how, like, you hold your weenie up, like, in an arc, and it shoot like a rainbow. Like, it wasn't a golden shower, it's like a rainbow. He peed on somebody, bitch. The day R. Kelly peed on somebody, we should have sacrificed him. The day this man peed on a 14-year-old girl, somebody should have killed him. That girl, father, or mother, or whoever it was, should have killed him. Jay-Z, one of these niggas, should have assassinated that nigga. Yes, after the PP. Jay, or, or one of these major celebrity niggas, should have assassinated that nigga. Anybody that was close to him should have assassinated that nigga, bro. He peed on somebody. He peed, he whipped his tallywhacker out. He whipped his tallywhacker out and peed on a 14 year old girl. Somebody should have beat his ass. But oh, now we're talking about Aaliyah who has Grammys and platinum hits. Oh, now it's a problem. Oh, everybody, let's, let's ban R. Kelly now because, you know, we're talking about Aaliyah. But don't be mad at motherfucking. R. Kelly for smashing 15-year-old Aaliyah. The All right, there we go. All right, how are we going to be mad at R. Kelly for smashing 15-year-old Aaliyah when Tiger just smashed a 16-year-old? And still smashing her right now. Bro. How are we going to be mad and R. Kelly for smashing 15-year-old Aaliyah and what Tyga is smashing Steven Tyler, um, Kylie Jenner. Steven Tyler. Uh, um, bitch like seven. Let Steven Tyler convince a 14-year-old girl's mom Look, to sign off. I don't care about none of that. Really? Yeah. Right. And Jerry's son for, for dating a 17-year-old. This is the craziest part about it, though. We can't be mad at R. Kelly. Don't be mad at R. Kelly. It's maximum pedophiles out there. Don't be mad at R. Kelly. Be mad at R. Kelly's parents. But you know what's crazy? You know what's even crazy? I see like a lot of the Muslims, like a lot of my boys as Muslim bashing R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, y'all got y'all nerves. I see a lot of my boys, a lot of my Muslim boys. Oh, R. Kelly's a pedophile. Oh, you got your motherfucking nerves, don't you? <laughs> oh. Well, maybe R. Kelly a Muslim. Now I think about it. Maybe R. Kelly's a Muslim because, you know, maybe he's following Muhammad. You know, what's the difference? Nine, 15, six, 15. Hey, I don't know, you know. 
9 and 8, 6. Maybe R. Kelly's Muslim and he's, you know, following the rules. I don't know. But bigger than that. But bigger than that. I see a lot of people focusing on the women. I see a lot of people focusing on the women that R. Kelly has raped or damaged. But nobody is worried about these niggas that he played basketball with. You know he was smashing men, too. R. Kelly ain't Bro, just, look. Just the women. Listen to me. I know R. Kelly did some things with Aaliyah and multiple young women. But when you start thinking about these four niggas that he played basketball with, that he have under complete mind control, I'm starting to really worry about the nigga with the backpack, G. Like, I'm starting to really ask, like, how long has he been a part of this, like, R. Kelly mind control? Bro. You look, bro, it's a nigga that got a backpack, bro, that literally do anything R. Kelly say, bro. If R. Kelly say, I don't want to step in the puddle, the nigga will lay on the ground, fully dressed, lay on the ground in the puddle and let R. Kelly step on his back. Like, I'm starting to think that R. Kelly got a child from like Africa or something and literally raised the nigga to be like a professional basketball passer. I really believe those four niggas that R. Kelly got, those was like Somalian refugees that he went to another country and got and like raised them niggas to be his loyal servants, bro. Listen to me. We need to really pray for the nigga in the backpack, bro. You not understanding, bro. Y'all niggas think I'm playing, and now y'all see more people who have played basketball with R. Kelly is starting to come out and say what the fuck happened. Bro, the nigga got four niggas that play on his team that don't shoot the ball, bro. We played, bro, you can ask Gilbert Arenas, bro. Gilbert Arenas was there, bro. R. Kelly played about 14 games in a row and nobody else shot the ball, bro. All 14 games, nobody else shot the ball, bro. Nobody, not one, not one other person shot the ball, bro. We played 14 games. Bro, the nigga with the backpack got a steal, bro. He was wide open. I'm talking about fast break. Only person down the court, he got by the rim. Bro, he got by the rim and something happened to him. Like he like glitched and turned around and passed R. Kelly the ball, bro. I I swear to God on my son, bro. I honestly believe R. Kelly got microchips in these niggas that like he press a button. Like Black Mirror. Like what, that was Black Mirror when he had the people under the thing, huh? Oh, yeah, make some for me. Bro, he had, I, on my son's life, the nigga was about to lay up. And, like, he glitched and then turned around and passed the ball to R. Kelly backcourt, bro. Word, dog, you can ask anybody who has played basketball with R. Kelly at Santa Monica Park. I mean, Santa Monica Junior College, bro. We was all up there. Everybody looked at that shit and was like, this nigga got these niggas on shot collars. I'll show you the trade. You want two or one? Uh, one. Uh, two. Bro, he got niggas on shot collars, bro. He got microchips in these niggas that don't allow them. He, bro, he got microchips in these niggas that RK Ultra. Bro, I'm dead. That nigga said RK Ultra. I'm dead, bro. I'm like all the way there. Bro, I understand, you know, I understand women always want their little justification and all this shit, but we need to really investigate these dudes, bro. <laughs> like, the men are secretly being, I think they've been raped. 
Like, no, look. I know Aaliyah, some shit happened to Aaliyah. I know he got a few ladies in there that can't leave, that he got them in cages. That's all cool. But we need to really, like, help the men. Like, yo, something ain't right with these niggas, bro. Bro, it's, he got four servants, bro. <laughs> he got four men servants that don't lay up when they wide open. My nigga. Basketball is one of the most things that black men take pride in. And we really like scoring, right? <laughs> like basketball is one thing that you feel me, nigga, I'm going to get buckets. You feel me? That's, I don't give a fuck how bad your life is. Nigga, you on the court, nigga, you got to get buckets. You feel me? Any nigga that's willing to pass on a fast break, Something ain't right, bro. Any nigga that got a fast break, wide open layup, and pass the ball back court, oh, something ain't right, bro. This one, we got to draw the line. We need a secret FBI investigate. We need to get in this nigga backpack. This nigga probably Android 25. That nigga with the backpack probably had, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked because R. Kelly made a lot of money. I wouldn't be shocked if he, if he shocked, if he built like a new robot, like them niggas, like Inspector Gadget things. I wouldn't be shocked, bro. I wouldn't be shocked if that backpack is like a battery pack. Bro, every video, bro, I just posted a video right now. Look. I swear to God, bro, you could get on Twitter right now on my YouTube. I mean, on my Twitter. Scroll down the timeline. I literally retweeted a video of R. Kelly. It's a, it's a shot where R. Kelly making the shot in the chair, right? He's sitting in the chair, and he throw the ball to the rim. The nigga with the backpack is literally standing under the rim like a Grand Theft Auto character. You could go on my Twitter right now, Daylight 30, bro. I literally, somebody else tagged me to it, dog, and I was like, that go the nigga with the backpack. Bro, the nigga is literally standing under the court like a Grand Theft Auto character, bro. You could go to my, you might have to, cause I went on a little rant this morning, but you might have to scroll down a little bit. Bro, the nigga with the backpack is literally standing under the court waiting for our, so you got to think, you got to think about this. If a nigga made a jump shot in the chair, you ain't making that on the first try. So how many times did R. Kelly attempt that and the nigga with the backpack passed him the ball? How many times? That's the question. Because, you know, a nigga only going to upload the one that he filmed, the one that he made. So how many times did R. Kelly attempt that before, the, yo, the nigga with the backpack like an android, bro? The nigga with the backpack like a real live android. So this is what I'm saying. I'm going to tell you this, right? Pedophilia is a demon. Anybody that has a form of pedophilia are a demons. That's not even a human. It's a spirit inside of you. Right? Like, you know, like motherfucking movie Get Out. Like it's like a spirit inside of you. Anybody who have an urge for little kids, you a demon. And I believe that these niggas need to be killed. R. Kelly don't need to do jail time. None of these niggas need to do jail time. None of these niggas. They need to be killed. That's how I feel. Ain't no... All, no. You don't just... You know what? I don't want to be a pedophile no more. I'm cured. No, nah, it don't work like that. You need to be hung to a cross and stoned to death. You, you Like... Like somebody need to hang you to a cross with your legs open and we need to get slingshots and shoot rocks at your wiener all day until you can't take it no more. Like wiener slingshotters. Yep. No. Oh. Bro, I'm keeping it a... Bro, niggas need to be... It need to be another crime.
it needs to be another thing. You can't just you can't just put no pedophile nigga in jail. He ain't gonna do nothing but beat his meat all day. No. We need to do things to these things. Bro, that nigga made an album called Age Ain't Nothing But a Number and was creeping in the back like a creeper. How you creep in the back of the album cover? You like a real live demon. Bro, he made the shit called Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. My man was in the back of the album cover. He like a cold, freaky thing. R. Kelly a freak. You know what's crazy? I watched a documentary about this one dude that was like killing pedophiles and then he ended up getting life in jail. So he caught, right? I watched a documentary where some nigga, he caught all the pedophiles that the government couldn't catch. You know, some for some odd reason, the government act like they don't know who watching child porn. For some odd reason, the government act like they don't know the niggas, that, that, like they don't got homeland security and they don't see everybody snatching children. So some nigga, some random nigga took it up on himself to catch predators and kill them. And the police and the justice system didn't give no flying fuck and they literally put the nigga in jail for life. Damn, get off me, mosquito. Bro, so what I learned, the system is full of niggas who rape children. Everybody, all these niggas that found this whole country, all these niggas is rapers. That's all they did is rape the men, rape the children, rape the babies. The legal system is designed to protect rapers. The piece of gate is the legal system. Right? All, your, all them niggas in them KKK robes, them all the niggas on the deep way of buying children and all type of shit. All that shit. whole system is designed for pedophilia. That's why you could go to jail for fucking armed robbery. Armed robbery, armed robbery and stealing somebody's car, you get 15, 20 years. Stealing the child butthole, you only get three, three to five years. Hijacking somebody for their booty, you only get three to five years. But still in the car, you could get 15 to 25 years. That's the type of system we live in.